On the other hand, we would ha have so-called the lateral growth. Lateral growth, it comes from, okay, we have solid on one side, liquid on the other side, okay? And uh, it would happen for the system with high bonding energy, high bonding energy. So at the interface, we would have so-called, uh, you saw those red dashes, what do those mean? Kind of we call them so-called dangling bond, the unsatisfied bond at the solid, because in the liquid is packed less dense. That would be so-called actual bond that is not satisfied, dangling bond. Okay, and we said high bonding energy. You saw at the solid we have many dangling bond, and then if we are adding one atom, because of this this high bonding energy. If a single atom is added here, if a single atom is added here, pay attention. If we add one single atom, we replace one dangling bond, but at the same time we are creating, do you see we are creating one dangling bond on the left, additional dangling bond on the right. Do you see that? Before we remove one dangling bond, but once we add this one extra atom sticking out, we are also have to create several more dangling bonds. And because of this, we said the, the bonding energy is what? High or low for this material? High. This extra dangling bond makes this atom highly unstable. That atom, even if it got attached here, has a tendency to what? go back into the liquid. That's what happens. On the other hand, the atoms in reality tends to attach at a specific location of so-called existing ledge or jog position. To what? To avoid the too many dangling bond, leading to so-called lateral growth. Again, we have this. But these types of position, do you see here where I'm pointing? These types of position, people call it the large position or jog position. Initially, you saw at this position, I have one dangling bond pointing up, one dangling bond pointing right. And then, when we add one extra atom here, we are satisfying some dangling bond. At the same time, I keep one dangling bond pointing up and keep one dangling bond pointing right. So in this process, I'm adding atom, but I'm not really creating too many extra dangling bond, un unsatisfied bond. Because of this, this process, so-called lateral growth, adding atom at specific location, is much more probable, higher probability than adding atom on a flat surface. Make sense? That's what happens, so-called lateral growth. And in reality, how it happens, one way is, okay, we have so-called surface nucleation. I have a step here, and then where am I going to add extra atom? Only at the so-called large location for this step to grow, which way? Along the interface horizontally. Another possibility is so-called spiral growth. I have a screw dislocation here, and then where are you going to add atom? You are going, only going to add atom at the here, screw dislocation low position. Spiral growth, do you see that? It's going to have spiral growth, okay? And if we are going to plot for the so-called rate, we are going to plot growth rate versus undercooling. At the same undercooling, what people find is the continuous growth, adding atom randomly over the surface has the highest rate. Okay? The so-called spiral, you have to find what? The screw dislocation where you can add atom, it's slower. And then for the surface nucleation, at the same undercooling, it's even slower. Okay? At the same undercooling, the so-called surface nucleation is even slower. That's what happens. 
under the lateral growth, whether it's spiral or surface. They typically happen at specific location, and quite often they are pretty slow compared with the continuous growth, which happens for metal. For the semiconductor material like silicon, they would grow this way and in a much slower fashion, which means you have to be patient. Okay, let's stop here. Okay, now let's take a look at some practical examples of microstructure or morphology due to uh, surface nucleation as well as spiral growth. So first, uh, let's take a look at uh, the picture here. It is essentially glucose crystal, an organic crystal, but uh, showing the surface nucleation. You see these fine steps showing up on larger crystal. These are due to the so-called uh, lateral growth, and the one of the lateral growth is called a surface nucleation, forming an island, and that island expand on the surface. Okay, and uh, this is one example. And then for spiral growth. The picture in the middle shows for silicon carbide crystal shows perfect spiral growth. And you see it goes around and around, and this happens when the uh, entropy change during uh, solidification is very large, the bonding energy is high, and as a result, the new atoms are added in specific location around the screw dislocation and give us the spiral growth. Another example is for graphite crystal as we show here. And graphite crystal shows the hexagonal structure. And also in this case, you see the spiral growth along a uh, dislocation. And it also shows the uh, hexagonal symmetry for the individual layer as we see in this uh, picture, okay?